another day, another Newcastle United transfer. With these transfers, we are going in. Going in. Like a like a child on punishment going in that much. You know, it's crazy at the moment. About to complete our fifth transfer. And what, we're in July? We've still got another month to go before the season even starts, or less than a month. It's just, I can't even keep up, Rafa. Slow down, slow down. Oh, dear. No, in fact, keep them coming, keep them coming. Anyway, so as you probably can tell, um, I'm just nursing a bit of a hangover at the moment, so bear with me if I get some things wrong. Uh, just got back from Tup Tup um, last night. Um, mad night. Just crazy, crazy, crazy stuff. Um, <laughs> but don't worry about that. Um, about to complete the transfer of Isaac Hayden. I believe he's had his medical yesterday. So that will be Saturday, uh, the 9th of July. And he's due to complete his deal either today or tomorrow. I'm guessing today, though, because um, usually we don't mess about, as you can clearly see. Um, and what does he bring to the table? Well, he's a 21-year-old um, from Arsenal. Spent the season on loan at Hull. Made 18 appearances. Um, scored one goal. Um, and can play in a numerous amount of positions, which is always good. Um to a team, especially like Newcastle as well, where we've had so many injuries in the past. Uh, prefers to play central defensive midfield, I've heard, um, but again, can play across the back four, um, especially at centre back as well, where we have low numbers at the moment. At the moment, so again, good news on this transfer. Very young as well, comes from Arsenal as well, so you can't can't really go wrong with that as well. Um, has come through the ranks as well. Also, capped at England under twenty level, not under twenty one yet from what I've seen, um, but again, that's obviously a good start, and especially, you know, at such a young age, and obviously can go on from there, really, so, good news on that front, I believe the fee's going to be around two and a half million pounds, so again, we're not breaking the bank with that as well, and also, I was totting up the numbers as well, because um, we've got a mini exodus on our hands, but it's a good exodus, because again, it's controlled, it's not one that, you know, it's gone out of hand, and you know, we're, we're sad about at the same time. It's a good one because um, obviously we've got rid of the likes of Overton, Marvo for free, Taylor released, Colo gone, got money for Townsend, got money for Cisse. So all in all, I think we recouped, oh, and Cabello as well. So all in all, I think we've recouped about 24, 25 million. And then obviously we spent a fair bit, obviously on Sells, Gale, um, Richie, Gam is, and it's hard to keep up now, and obviously Hayden. So all in all, I think we might even be in the black, um, if not in the red slightly. But again, we've still got money to spend, obviously, from you know TV money, parachute money, so Premier League parachute money, should I say. So again, it looks well. You know, we're getting players specified for specific positions as well, not just kind of hand-picking who will do here and there and everywhere. So again, it's good news all around. Um, again, how will he slot into the team? If we keep the same team that we had last season, I don't think he'll start. Um, but I've got a funny feeling he might replace Teote. I think he might be off to China, uh, Teote. Don't quote me on this, but I've just got a funny feeling he might be. Cease has gone there, and obviously he was due to go to China, wherever he was. I think he was Guang. I'm not going to pronounce it. I'm not going to embarrass myself like that. Um, He's supposed to go to China in January. Obviously, that melt, that move fell through. And then since then, under Rafa, played a lot better than he has in the past two or three seasons combined. Um, and then, obviously, he looks, I won't say invaluable, but again, he reminds me of the Teoto of old. Just kept it simple. Played long to goodbye. So, just gave it to the better players that can play. And just kept it simple. Um, so, again... I wouldn't begrudge him from staying, but I wouldn't begrudge him from going either. So it's one of those catch-22 situations. Also, we've got him in that same position, Cole back, so I think he's going to stay. Um, I don't think anyone's going to be biting off our hand to, to take him anytime soon, especially Sunderland. Um, so he's going to stay. Save, I'm to and fro with him because I think I'm, I'm sure we signed him off a football manager stats alone. Um, I don't know if we properly scouted him at all. So... I don't know what to think about him. And obviously, we've got Shelby still on the books as well. So, obviously, he's not central defensive-minded, but at the same time, he plays in central midfield. So, again, we've got good competition there. 
probably need to offload one because I can't see all four of them, especially with Hayden coming in, um, looking to wait around. And I think we only play, we only look to play two of them um, at one time. So it's going to be a lot of waiting around, a lot of splinters um, gathering up on people's bums <laughs> for the rest of the season there. But good news, obviously versatility as well, can play at the, at the back as well. Still no concrete news on Hanley. I know we're still in talks with him, so hopefully we can get that secured by the end of the week. I know the boys are off in Ireland, but again, we really need to obviously bulk up the central defensive you know, unit that we have. We've only got the cells and the as recognised centre-backs at the moment. I know we've still got Mababu and, you know, obviously we just signed Finlay um, a couple of days ago, but he's still with the youth team. So we do really need, you know, one of these guys to come off, either a Hanley, Flint, uh, Corker, Dunk, one of those transfers to come off alongside Hayden as well. So good news. Oh, I forgot to mention as well, he probably will sign on a five-year deal, which is something that we're used to anyway by now, especially with these young players as well. We tend to hand out five-year deals like they're going out of fashion, really. Um, the only one who hasn't got a five-year deal is Gammons, and obviously because he's 31, that means he'll be playing to what, 36. So good news on that front. Again, I think it's going to be secured by the end of today, but don't quote me on that. Probably by tomorrow at the very latest. And another recruit, which brings our recruitment process to five, and I can see it being six by the end of next week. So probably not going to be my last video by today because I'm sure there's something else that's going to happen as well. I'm hearing a couple of rumours, which I'll probably bring up in the next video. So... You guys know what to do by now. Also, thank you for letting me know about my mic levels as well. Let me know if it's too low for you guys. I've been playing around with the mic levels in the last one as well. So if I don't talk loud enough, it's A, because, no, I'm terrible with technology, sorry. And B, because <laughs> my throat's gone from last night. So you know what to do, guys. Like, share, subscribe. Thank you for all the new subscribers as well. Thank you for watching and listening. And I'll see you guys all soon. Peace.